It takes intentional focus and hard work to be the best. My senior year in high school, I started doing a thousand sit-ups every day. I started running stadium stairs. I started eating right. I started watching film of the best athletes that ever competed. And it just clicked for me. It's never too early to start really pursuing your dreams. In today's society, it's like, you know, you want this microwavable success. You want it to happen right now. But one of the things you learn as an Olympic athlete is that you got to put in that work and it's going to take time sometimes for it to show up. We train four years for one moment to win gold. And it's so worth it, you know, like you think about all of the effort, all the sacrifice, all the family support, the coaches, everyone who pours into you for that moment. And you realize it's going to take you those 10,000 hours to truly achieve greatness. You know, I feel like sometimes when you're an athlete, people feel like you gotta be a tomboy, and you can't embrace beauty and fashion. And so about midway through my career, I also started to embrace all of who I was. And I had the Chanel earrings on, I had the lashes and all those things. When I felt good, I felt like I performed well. And that mattered to me. You never have to show up in a way that people think you should show up. Show up fully authentically yourself. And I think when you do that, you're able to be your best self in your work. And so I really enjoyed being able to show this side of myself and showing the beauty and the glam and embracing it all because it's, it's who I am. The attention that I pay to my mental health, mental wellness as an athlete has certainly paid off for me as a mom. So a lot of times in life, we get worked up about stuff that haven't even happened yet. Right, it's that mommy brain where it's like, oh my gosh, this could happen, and you go to ten, like you're overwhelmed, you're you know anxious, and all these things for things that haven't happened yet. And a lot of times, it never happens. <laughs> a lot of the stress that we put on ourselves are for things that we anticipate happening, and that has helped me a ton too. Like you know, when I'm planning events, and I'm like, oh my gosh, how are the kids gonna do this? this and then I just go in neutral. It's like it's gonna work itself out, and it does. You know, and so that really helps with my mental stressor, stressors and pressures. I'm really good about taking long baths uh, to be able to just relax, um, getting a massage and just doing things that make me happy and fill me up. And like I said, I, you know, you can't pour from an empty cup. So I'm always trying to fill my cup up and be the best wife and mom I can be. There is no such thing as real balance. Prioritize the things that matter to me and being extremely present when I'm doing those things. Obviously, when I'm out working, I'm not, I can't be a good mom. I can't be mothering because I'm not with my kids, but I can be 100% present here and giving the best that I have. And then when I'm with my kids, the phone is off and I'm 100% invested and with them. And I think that that's the best that we can do. I give myself a ton of grace, <laughs> you know, because I don't think any of us ever get it perfectly right. But I do feel that when I am being the best that I can be, when I'm out working, doing the things that I love, I come home, I'm happier, I'm in better spirits, and I have more to give to my children and to my family. I feel like I've manifested almost everything <laughs> in my life, you know? Like, obviously the Olympic gold medal, like I said it when I was nine and I believed it with all my heart and it, it came to fruition. I wanted to host my own show and I was able to host my show here in Atlanta. I told my husband that he was my husband long before he proposed, manifested that. I'm one of those people who I'm not afraid to say what it is that I want. And I think a lot of people, because of that fear of failure, they don't like to express what they want. I'll start doing that. I'll start saying all the things. Say what you want, girl. Tell the world. <laughs>